Well, deck the halls because the festive season is upon us, starting with the Christmas gift at Kangton this Saturday night. Hello and welcome to the Wednesday preview. James Broadhurst joining you and joining me is the monarch of the mic, the regal race caller himself, Hayden King. Hayden, how are you? Very well, James. All the better for being here alongside you and really looking forward to the Dawesville Cup heats. Interesting heats, if nothing else. A couple of dogs that are really progressive coming through the grades and they get their chance to stamp their authority as being top echelon dogs. So I'm really looking forward to that challenge on Friday night. Yeah, that is a good series, the Dawesville Cup. Four heats. Friday night, as you mentioned, then of course we've got the Christmas gift at Cannington on Saturday. But let's go to these Dawesville Cup heats. Let's get right into them, starting with the first heat here. And Hayden Cubitt Manelli out of box two here is a dog that draws my eye. A winner over 400 metres down there on Sunday. Also been very impressive over the 520 in the past month. Really starting to put it all together, this Greyhound. And from box two is a big chance here. Uh, the kennel mate, a little bit twisted. Oh, a bit surprising to me that this dog hasn't been a hit over the 400 at Mandra. Of course, only had the one start over the 488. Just a little bit slightly off at the moment, this dog, but does have talent. And of course, we've got uh, Mignon in box four here. A last start winner. Uh, who do you like in this one? Looks Cubit Minnelli's race to lose. I think, I think only bad racing luck will beat him. He broke the track record there on Sunday over the 400 metres, dashed along after assuming the front and bolted in. If he gets even racing, luck and he jumps okay. He should win. Minyong was really impressive, though, last week. Cut out some really good sections out in front. Ended up on the outside fence. I don't know. I thought it was about to hurdle the outside fence. but <laughs> and, she, and it's a widened track now, and so that's quite an still achievement. still <laughs> absolutely hosed up there, winning by a big space. Just needs that room early, and uh, she can play a part. Early speed comes from Speedy Genie, Garnet's Gem. They're both going okay, but I do think it's Cubit Minnelli's race to lose. Just quickly, what's going on with a little bit twisted at the moment? Not sure. This dog made that really auspicious start mm. to the career and has uh, not gone to that next level as yet, so would need to be lifting to be competitive in this. Plenty of time in a little bit twist his career to turn things around, though. Could be Friday night, who knows? Let's head to the second heat, Hayden. And speaking of track records, there's a dog in here that broke a track record last Friday night. My Anarchy Boy. I thought this heat was the pick of them and it largely is due to that dog out of box one my anarchy boy no it's not anarchy in the uk hayden it's anarchy on the racetrack 12 starts six wins six runner-up placings what a start to his career he's had uh, he's won his last three starts now the past two of those have been at mandra including last week and we're having a look at that run right now what an electric performance this was my anarchy boy launched beautifully from box four and he immediately streaked out to a big lead Eugenius, who was in this heat, uh, gave chase, but my anarchy boy was not going to be caught from this position. He maintains his advantage and rolls on to score by six lengths in a track record time of 26.91. Surely is a big gun in this heat from box one, but there are some contenders here, and I think all the action in this race is going to be on the inside here. Stevie Minnelli out of box two here, a dog that's really taking a liking to this 488 metre journey. Two wins, uh, those have been in decent times, and a runner-up placing from three starts. Won't lead, but will come late here. And we've also got Sneaky Emoji. Thought this dog could be a threat. A good up-and-coming chaser has also won over the 488 in great time last week. Your thoughts, Hayden? I think only my anarchy boy will beat himself here. He really picks himself off the page and uh, he does look the winner. That 26.91 win was dazzling. He should lead, should win. I've been really taken by the way this dog has just continued to get better and better each week because at the start of his career, I didn't think he was going to be that much, but he's really impressed and improved over recent weeks and months and uh, he looks like one of the top seeds heading into this Dawesville Cup final. Sneaky Emoji was really good last start. 
began okay, then picked up a lot of headway pretty quickly, and the time overall was really good. So if there are any chinks in the armor of my Anarchy Boy, Sneaky Emoji, the one to capitalize, and then you've got others like Trevor's Gift, who's in really good form, seeking the hat trick becomes much harder. Stevie Minnelli, get back, run on. Eugenius going okay. Plenty of talent in the race, but my Anarchy Boy, a level above. Sneaky Emoji, and then the rest fighting for third, I think. Probably the heat with the most talent in it, but you're right, a standout here in my anarchy. Boy, let's head over to heat three. And I thought this one was a pretty tricky race, Hayden. We've got five of the eight dogs in the race that have never gone over the distance, including Rip and Tomahawk. Can he find the lead here from box eight, the veteran? Probably the one that stands out here, Sunset Mirage, has won twice over the 488 metre journey from the three attempts. Her past two attempts at Cainton, though, she has finished downfield, so maybe that puts a bit of doubt here. What, what, do, you, what do you think of this race, Hayden? I think Sunset Mirage will need some luck, but if he gets it, he's the one to beat. He really showed good change-up speed at Cannington when he drew box eight last start. He just began okay, but he really began to flash into that first turn. Still got trapped a bit wide. The win going back three starts ago at Mandra, super impressive. He just needs that little bit of early luck. He was a little bit fortunate that night that Agent 11 only half got him in those early stages, and he was able to balance up and come after that dog and prove too strong. So he does need a little bit of early fortune, but if he gets it, he's the one to beat. Aside from that, it's pretty wide open. Well, there's a lot of unknowns, isn't it? Some of these dogs might take to this track and distance, or but we just don't know until mm. we see them go around. Rip and Tomahawk, he's been the dog that's had the best career out of them, but he's certainly in the twilight of it now. He surprised me when he ran third a couple of runs ago, but he made the pace and he gutsed it out. Well, if he was able to get up on speed again, he could run a positive race. Goes to katoni has got speed. Mahican Mistress is going okay. Joe the Lion, I actually liked this dog's last run. He actually found a bit of bother, and although he was beaten a long way, he still toughed it out all right. I think he could be a smoky for this race. And then Kenya Refine, step up, but going well. And a redhead rider also has early speed probably better suited to a 400 meter trip but can make his presence felt wide open all right let's swing our attention to the fourth and final heat here west on boomer out of box three here a couple of wins over the 400 meter journey in the past fortnight will bring early speed to this contest and then we've got out in box eight nangar bubbles hard to fault what this greyhound has done so far uh, a month ago this dog had a really great win in the heat of the mandra cup must be considered those are the two that stick out for me hayden any others that i've missed here Possibly. There are plenty of others that have claims. West on Boomer. I'm just not sure how he's going to go around the 488. I thought he was switching off a little bit late last start over the 400. I know he's been to 520 at Cannington, but I just would like to see it first. Sure. And I'd be concerned if there was a strong dog banging on his back approaching the home corner. Nanga Bubbles. Probably the class dog mm. brings the best form lines. So this is her chance to qualify for another cup down there at Mandra. All about Coles, one that's going to be really smashing the line. If he's within shouting distance, then look out. Others in the race, Extreme Rock's going okay. Carter Axelrod, fresh, and how's he going to go? Messed up Mary needs luck. Power of Molly led for a long way on Sunday, could lead for a long way again. Yeah, it's, a, it's another tough heat. The, they're not getting any easier as we go across the night. <laughs> They're really not. I've got to go with Nangar Bubbles, though, in this one. Yeah, Just he, go with the class. She does, yeah. yeah. Class is the operative word there. All right, those are the four heats of the Dawesville Cup at Mandra on Friday night. Of course, chasing Cainton on Saturday. 11 race card highlighted by the Christmas gift. Let's have a look at the field. And, Hayden, are we looking past Couch Surfer in this? absolutely superb over the 715 metre journey has won his past seven starts over the trip this race in my opinion looks wrapped up in a box with a nice bow on it with a tag with couch surfer's name written on it christmas gift for couch surfer what do you think chance <laughs> i know now i know what you're gonna say West on Nugget. Is that what you're going to say? Can win. Okay. I'm, I'm not completely sold. I think Couch Surfer 
is the hardest to beat because you just have to respect the record. Mm-hmm. Seven from seven, seven fifteen, did it so stylishly last start. And if he can jump and be ahead of West on Nugget again, then he probably beats him again. West on Nugget doesn't have the best early speed, so Couch Surfer will need to be on song to navigate box number eight. Yeah. But if he can show early speed, yeah, he's the one to beat. Uh, West on Nugget's record okay over this trip. Two wins, two second places from the four starts. Two times he's met Cow Surfer, though. He's lost to Cow Surfer. Superman keeping. I remember handing the trophy over to Sean Kavanagh after that Greyhound won this race last year. Uh, hasn't won since January. Uh, that was 15 starts ago. Clifton Cruz, pretty honest sort of dog. Doesn't win a lot. Oh, look, I just think this is Cow Surfer's to win. Probably is. Yeah. Torborn Roses, I think she was only just getting warm at the back end of that race at Mandra yeah. last start. Dusty Deluxe has been a really good progression. He's won his last two, ready to go with it. Sinbin Sammy, I've really liked the way this dog's been going. He's finally beginning to hit his straps here in the West, and it wouldn't shock me to see him be really competitive. Then others, Clifton Cruise and Speed Freak. So, yes, Couch Surf for top seed, <laughs> not as dogmatic as you. Oh, I don't know. It's going to start as a dollar ten. No, nah, no chance. You reckon? No. Nah. Okay. Dollar forty, dollar fifty. <laughs> okay. It's not. It's not going to be like deep red because you've got really talented dogs like West on Nugget and even others that can cause a, a knockout blow. All right. Okay. Well, I'm very bullish on Couch Surfer. Mind you, it did win for me last week, so happy to stick with that dog uh that is saturday night hayden we've got chasing at cannington tonight 12 races first at 6 46 free entry as it is each and every night here at greyhounds wa you got a best bet for us i think i might know where you're going here look i feel bad doing <laughs> but he's just he's just a good dog sunset comanche <laughs> race six number two i keep buttering up each and every week he burnt you last week mm. And I issue this ultimatum to him. <laughs> okay. If you do not win tonight's Sunset Comanche, our relationship is over. Wow. Mm. Wow. Okay. How does he win tonight? Positions up close enough. I can see a bit of speed from David Hobby's other dogs. He just needs to be within shouting distance. One thing I like is I think he can balance up nearer the rail tonight and he doesn't have to expend as much petrol getting out wide on the track. If he's bang there, couple of lengths off into that first turn and he doesn't win <laughs> I'll be uh, inconsolable <laughs> all right well for my best bet I think it was race two number seven hippie trail putting on the asbestos gloves Hayden because I've had my fingers burnt by this greyhound in the past as have a lot of punters now check out these stats had 21 starts she's been placed in 17 of those yet to Win. That's more tease than Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. There's a trail of broken Sorry? bank. To that you haven't seen that movie? No. Okay. Well, people who are older than you will get that reference. Trail of broken bank accounts behind this greyhound. So why will this week be different? Well, it might not be, but uh, does have a vacant box uh, on her inside and got the debutante. Kenya Goldstream, which uh, looks like he's got a bit of early speed over in box five. So I'm hoping Hippie Trail can get into the Goldstream, get a bit of a sit, and thinking that she might be just a little bit stronger in the finish here and she can come over the top and finally break this maiden. I think you might be even more of a masochist than me. <laughs> you don't think so? Well, it's just, I'm not saying no, but it's a mine five doesn't or even, six dog field. Mine think, doesn't yeah. even seem that bad. My. Affliction with Sunset Comanche. <laughs> well, well, look, I'm in the same deal. She doesn't win tonight. That's it. We're okay. Going. All right. How about that? That the show? Mm, that's it. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> Plenty of race. Good racing ahead of us. Friday, Saturday night. And, of course, tonight at Cainton. Hopefully, you can get involved. Either way, we will catch you next week on the preview.